Hello everyone, my name is Xiaodunggu. Let me introduce our work. The title of the paper is Recurrent Closest Point for Scene Flow Estimation on 3D Point Clouds. First question What is scene flow in 3D point clouds? We can see from the figure, scene flow is 3D motion field of points in the scene. Every 3D point has its 3D flow vector. Our task is to estimate the 3D flow vector. The task is very similar to 2D image optical flow estimation. In optical flow estimation, most of the previous work will build a correlation between two images. Like FlowNet, which introduces a layer that correlates feature vectors at different image locations. PwCNet proposed a pyramid architecture to use cost volume layer to estimate large displacement flow and achieve better accuracy. The correlation or cost volume layer will define a regular search window to calculate the correlation with each pixel in the window. The correlation info will be as an input to a neural network which used to estimate flow. The idea is also be applied to scene flow estimation. Build correlation between two point clouds. Like FlowNet 3D, which introduces a flow embedding layer that learns a point to patch correlation. Point PWHNet proposed a cost volume layer to learn a patch to patch cost. As the figure shows, the flow embedding layer calculates correlation info in a predefined search radius ball and uses max pooling operation to get the fused feature. The fused feature will be input as another network to estimate flow. Instead, we directly estimate the current flow using an attention mechanism that computes correlation weights. To further consider global regularization, inspired by Raft, we introduce a recurrent network to iterative regularize the current estimation. The recurrent network can memorize previous tries and use the historical experience to get global optimal results. This is an overview of our paper, including initialization, pointwise optimization module, and recurrent regularization module. Given two point clouds P and Q our goal is to estimate the transformation X first extract the feature of each 3D point, and then estimate the initial transformation X0 based feature matching. Then the initial solution X0 is further updated by minimizing the following objective function. D is a data term. Measure the feature distance. R is a regularization term. Measure the spatial smoothness. Inspired by the quadratic relaxation, we introduce an auxiliary transformation Z. This can decouple the data term and the regularization term, so they can be optimized separately. Given the solution X from the previous iteration, we first minimize equation 3 point wisely to update Z and flow vector Z minimizes both the feature as well as the Euclidean distance. However, P plus M usually does not exactly correspond to any point in Q, so we use a candidate for Z and search for the best Q within a local neighborhood. This winner-take-all selection is further softened as a bilateral interpolation. Empirically, the reversed distance can be further replaced with cosine similarity, which converts equations 6 into 7. Where G concatenates point feature and the positional encoding of P plus M equation 7 is similar to the attention mechanism but uses the same feature operator for the key and the queries. This figure shows the details of the pointwise optimization module. Given the auxiliary transformation Z from the last section, we further implicitly regularize Z into X by a recurrent network. The recurrent network receives the previous iteration's hidden state H and the current iteration information as the inputs. Then an updated hidden state H is produced from a recurrent unit such as GRU as follows. As the alternate optimization progresses, the cost drops step by step, while the EPE3D error is decreased gradually. There are loss functions, same as previous work including L1 loss, chamfer term, smoothness term, and Laplacian term. We make comparisons on the widely datasets. For point cloud registration, we follow previous works and evaluate on model net 40 dataset. The results show that our method outperforms the previous method and achieves a new state-of-the-art performance on both 3D scene flow estimation and point cloud registration. These are qualitative results that demonstrate the superiority of the proposed method. These are ablation styes. We first conduct ablation studies on pointwise optimization module. The first question is whether we can remove the pointwise optimization? As shown in the table, indicate that the module is necessary. We compare with some alternative ways, their results are all worse than ours. This also proves the reasonable of our design structure. Then we conduct ablation studies on the recurrent regularization module. We replace the GRU block with three set underscore conva layers to compare. The worse results indicate that the historical information passed by the recurrent unit regularizes the solution better. Finally, we analyzed the effect of the number of iterations. From the table, we can see that all the metrics are gradually improved along with the increasing iteration number. Thank you for listening.